Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that the random variable x follows binomial distribution. For which we have been given that the difference of the mean and the variance is 1. So difference between mean and variance is given to us as 1. And they have also told us if 2 times probability of x equal to 2 is equal to 3 times probability at x equal to 1. Then we have been asked to find the value of n square into probability of x greater than 1. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here for this question, the options are 15, 12, 11, and the last option given to us here is 16. So let's try to find out the correct answer for the question given to us. Now, when I have a binomial distribution, I know it is shown as B n comma P where n is the number of times that you are doing the event and p is the probability of success. So when you have p as the probability of success, q the probability of not having the success basically becomes 1 minus p. Right? Now if I talk about the mean, we already know mean is given by n into p and variance, it is given by the product of all the three n into p into q. So now once I know this for binomial distribution, that mean is n into p and variance is n into p into q, I already know the given data that mean minus variance is equal to 1. So if I subtract them, I get np minus npq is equal to 1. If I take out n common with p common, I get 1 minus q is equal to 1. 1 minus q, I already know q is 1 minus p. So from here, I get p is 1 minus q. So instead of 1 minus q, if I put p here, I get np into p is equal to 1. So with that, I get np square is equal to 1. So from here, I can also write n as 1 upon p square. So now once I have this data np square equal to 1, we'll use that further in the other steps. But let's go for the other data we have been given. We have been given two times probability at x equal to 2 is equal to three times probability at x equal to 1. So we already have an idea for binomial distribution that probability at x equal to r that is given by ncr p raised to r and q raised to n minus r. Now once I have that with me, I can just find probability at x equal to 2 will become nc2 p raised to 2, q raised to n minus 2. And probability at x equal to 1 will become nc1, p raised to 1, q raised to n minus 1. Now, once I have both of these ideas with me, if I just substitute it in the given data, 2 times probability at x equal to 2, it's given to us as 3 times probability at x equal to 1. So, 2 times nc2, p square q raised to n minus 2 is equal to 3 times nc1 p raised to 1 q raised to n minus 1. Now here we have been given this idea. Now further if I try to solve this I know 2 times nc2 is I can write that as n factorial upon 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial p square as it is q raised to n minus 2 3 nc1 i can just write that as n factorial upon 1 factorial into n minus 1 and p as as it is p and q raised to n minus 1 now once i have here i understand here i have 1p here i have 2p i can cancel one of them and here also if i talk about q raised to n minus 1 if i bring this q raised to n minus 2 here it gets divided. So let's see in the other step what it becomes now. N factorial also I can cancel it, but let's 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 
solve it further two times. N factorial, if I try to write it in terms of N minus 2, I can write that as N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 factorial. Upon 2 factorial is 2 into 1 and N minus 2 factorial. Mm -hmm. Now, once I cancel this n minus 2 factorial from both sides, and you are left with p q raised to n minus 2 is equal to 3 n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial upon n minus 1 factorial. So, this also gets cancelled here. Now, we are left with q raised to n minus 1. Further, if I try to solve this, I can also cancel n from both sides. I can cancel 2 from both sides. So, what we are left with? Let's see. Now, we are left with n minus 1 p. This becomes q raised to n minus 1 upon q raised to n minus 2. So, that makes it q raised to n minus 1 minus n plus. So you get n and n cancelled out you are left with q raised to 2 minus 1 which is nothing but q raised to 1 and that is q here you are left with n minus 1 p n minus 1 n p. now i have an equation in terms of three variables right let's convert it into one single variable and let's solve it then so if i try to convert it i know already n is 1 by p square so instead of n here, if I substitute 1 by p square, it becomes 1 by p square minus 1 into p is equal to. Q also, I can write it as probability of not having success. We know it is already 1 minus p. So equal to 1 minus probability of having a success. So once I have this entire thing given, let's solve it further. I get 1 minus p square upon p square into p is equal to 1 minus p. Now, once I have a square minus b square, I can write that as a minus b, a plus b into p upon b square is equal to 1 minus b. Now, once I cancel this 1 minus b from both sides and p also here, I get this as 1 upon 1 plus b upon p. So, here I think we missed this 3. So, if I write that 3 everywhere, Let's write that. So here if I write this 3 everywhere. So you are left with 1 plus p upon p is equal to 3 now. 1 plus p upon p is equal to 3. So with that I get 1 plus p is equal to 3p. And from there I get 1 as 2p. And p becomes half. So I get the probability of success from this expression after solving and converting into one variable that p is half. From there, I can also get n here. n, we already know it as 1 upon p square. So 1 upon p square, so that is half square. So 1 upon 1 by 4, that is 4. So I get the value of n also as 4. I know probability of p probability of success p is half so q also becomes 1 minus p that is 1 minus half probability of not having the success is also known now that is also half further let's try to solve for the question asked to us the question says try to find the value of n square probability of x greater than 1 now probability of x greater than 1 we don't know we have to go till what values of x here so what I can do here is I can just apply the idea of inverse probability. So when I have the opposite idea of the concept of probability, I can write that as 1 minus probability at x equal to 0 or probability at x equal to 1. So we are doing it as total probability that is 1 minus the opposite idea. So opposite idea is probability at x equal to 0 and probability at x equal to 1. Now, n square, if I talk about n, we already know it as 4. So, 4 square, that is 16. 1 minus probability at x equal to 0, if I apply the formula, n c 0, p raised to 0, q raised to n minus 0, minus n c 1, p raised to 1, q raised to n minus 1. So, we get this entire thing now. We already know n here, that is 4. So, 4 c 0. 
e raised to zero it is already one q raised to n minus zero is nothing but half raised to n that is four minus here you get four c one b raised to one which is half raised to one and this is half raised to four minus one that is q so you get this expression turning out to become 16 1 minus 4c0 is 1 and this is 1 by 2 raised to 4 which is 1 by 16 minus this becomes 4c1 and 1 by 2 raised to 4 that is 4 by 16. So you get this as 16 1 minus 5 by 16 that is 16 into 11 by 16. This gets cancelled, you get the answer here for the question as 11. So if you see the answer choices that matches here with the answers given to us, the answer for the question becomes option. So C becomes the correct answer for the question which was asked to us here. That is n square probability of x greater than 1. The answer becomes 11. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of concepts of binomial distribution. So first we use the idea of mean and variance being NP and NPQ. Then we use the idea that the difference of them is equal to one. That gave us an equation that NP square is one. So I got N in terms of P. Then I use the other idea two times probability at X equal to two is three times probability at X equal to one. So further I, when I solve this idea, I got a equation in terms of n p and q that i converted all of them into one variable p and solved it further to get the value of p as half once i got p as half i got n as four and q also became half so that gives us the value for the question which was asked to us here that n square probability of x greater than one so if i solve that further i got the answer to become 11 that matches with option c I hope you have understood this very well. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th as well as GWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.